Yes, by these wings you'll be known. You'll be recognized throughout the world as one of America's Knights of the Sky, an Air Force pilot. If you are single between 19 and 26 and a half, you can join this chosen few. You'll train as an aviation cadet and graduate a lieutenant, earning more than $5,000 a year. Win silver wings to a golden fly with the aviation cadets. Making a trail in the sky, riding the gale way up high. We fly the jets on the Air Force team, the sky cadets. Hello, this is a government broadcast, distributed directly from the Department of Homeland Security. Are you in shock by our recent otherworldly visitors? Well, quit your peril, the government is here to help. The United States Army has provided several concise, yet specific and easy to follow instructions which might just help you see another day. If you are somehow unaware of our current situation, we are here to help. Several weeks ago, a large-scale invasion has occurred upon American soil. This invasion has seemed to be alien in nature. These entities have been walking upon our land on large machines, which have come to be nicknamed Tripods. But do not be fooled, these machines are not your friend. These tripods are very dangerous. They use a variety of weaponry which could prove deadly to the average man. Due to all this, instructions on how to survive against a tripod will now be broadcast. Instruction number one. If you see or hear a tripod, sit in place. Tripods are easily identifiable by their loud walking, mechanical movement, and loud horns. They have three legs attached to a head with three bright yellow and blue lights. When you are certain that you have heard or seen a tripod, sit where you are. Do not move. Call the authorities immediately and you will be in the clear. Do not hide. Do not run. Do not flee. This will only make it harder for us to kill you. Hide and immediately seek shelter. Run if you can. Simply stay out of their grasp and out of their sight, and eventually they will stop hunting you until of course the authorities arrive and handle the situation. Optimal places to hide include basements, attics, enclosed rooms near the center of a sturdy building, caves, narrow tunnels, and bunkers. If you are out in the open and cannot find a place to hide, run. It is advised to run as quickly as you can and in zigzag patterns. Run as sporadically as possible and away from crowds of people. If a tripod is chasing you and there is a crowd of people ahead of you, run away from the crowd of people. Do not run toward the crowd as you risk the chance of major loss of life which cannot be afforded. Make sure to defend yourself from a tripod's weaponry. Do this by dodging their arms and laser blasts. A tripod's heat ray takes about 4 seconds to charge up, giving you enough time to recognize the situation and run for your life.
If you see a trait on fire canisters in your direction, immediately evacuate the area. These canisters will burst open and release a substance known as black smoke. The black smoke will make it hard to breathe once inhaled, and eventually can cause death. Instruction number two. If you see something particularly strange, alert the authorities. As you can imagine, alien activity can be rather shocking to witness. So, in your best interest, if you see something strange or suspicious, immediately dial zero on your telephone to speak with your provider and get them to call the authorities. There are several things that could fall under suspicious Martian activity, such as Loud horns in the distance. <laughs> Large vibrations. Screaming. Crying. Death or cadavers. Black smoke, powdered remains, or any sign of a tripod in general near your location. Along with this, there are several signs of tripod activity you must be on high alert for. This includes three large circular footprints, fires, burnt trees or buildings, collapsed buildings, and traces of a substance known as red weed. Be sure to be wary of any signs or warnings set up by military when passing through a certain area. This will usually be a symbol of a Martian or a tripod inside of a red or yellow triangle. Red weed is thought to be a plant which the Martians are growing on our planet, likely as a food source. However, to fertilize red weed, the tripods will go through a process which is incredibly distressing to witness. If you see a tripod with a human, and the tripod punctures a human with a large needle, do not act. There is nothing you can do now. It is to be assumed that the needle removes all blood from the body and liquefies the surrounding organs, killing the human. The tripod will then collect this blood and will spray it into the air. This will eventually quickly grow the red weed. Do not touch the red weed. Do not alert the tripods to your presence. There is always usually more than one tripod in a given location when harvesting. If you witness tripods harvesting humans, all you can do is alert the authorities and quietly exit the area. If you see red weed, but do not see tripods, exit the area and alert the authorities. Stay on the grass. Do not follow the red weed. Where there is red weed, there is death. Also, there is another circumstance in which you must be extremely cautious of. If you see a Martian, do not alert them to your presence under any circumstances. The aliens will look extremely similar to their machine counterparts. They have three legs with three toes attached to a large head. They have two smaller two-fingered arms under their spade-shaped head and they have two large eyes and a mouth. They are largely colorless, but also may have an accent of blue, red, green, or other bright colors. It is to be assumed that these entities are extremely dangerous. Alert the authorities if you see any of them outside of their tripods. Evidence of Martians near your location include Footprints with three toes Trashed rooms Idle tripods Strange noises like clicking or screeching Signs set up by the military with a symbol of a tripod or, more likely, a Martian. And several horns. Do not attempt to make contact with these Martians. As previously stated it is to be assumed that these Martians are incredibly dangerous and may attempt to capture you in order to harm you or harvest you. Instruction number three. Remember that it is okay to give up. Tripods are incredibly powerful and large machines. 
they are 100 feet tall and have many long tentacles which, although are able to be dodged, are very hard to evade. They have incredible eyesight and can see human life from miles away. They appear to have some kind of invisible shield which defends them from any and all attacks and they are incredibly good at tracking down any and all human life in order to kill or harvest them. We have recently been made aware of one specific circumstance occurring around the United Kingdom shortly before being the last European nation to go dark. The nation was assembling a naval evacuation effort around Essex as the warship famously known as the Thunder Child fought off the Tripods. The Thunder Child and its sailors fought them off valiantly before tragically being sunk. It is currently unknown if the evacuation effort was a success. But regardless, if the Tripods took down the warship, then it is understandable why you may believe you may be powerless against them. There is a separate variation of machine known as Camelots. Camelots are specifically designed to pull humans out of buildings or bunkers utilizing their arms and special cameras. Unfortunately, this makes them very hard to defend against, and while the rest of the aforementioned instructions are very much recommended, it's fair to say that they only delay the inevitable. Camelots are lower with bent legs. Apart from this they are largely no different from other tripods and should be treated as such. Due to all of this information, it is okay to give up to the situation. The government has advised to the citizens of the United States that, due to the army being unable to handle the threat, citizens are allowed to initiate suicide if they feel that they will be captured and harvested. Do not commit suicide if you have children or family or friends that rely on you as you risk putting them in danger and getting them harmed. If you have the ability to damage a tripod in any way, sacrifice is permitted. You will die with honor. This situation is bleak, but we will overcome. America is second to none, and we will arise from this invasion stronger than before. Thank you for listening to this government broadcast. Goodbye. Normal programming will continue if this is playing on cable television. God bless America. It is believed that these occultists have led a horde of about 200 tripods toward the state of California and into Sacramento. The cult has done this through human sacrifices. They will enact a practice very similar to biblical crucifixion and set up a path of victims which invites the tripods toward a certain direction. The tripods usually harvest the victims. To digress, as such, the entire state of California is under a state of emergency, and the city of Sacramento is being evacuated as quickly as possible. The cities of LA and San Francisco have been lost, as of last week. If you spot cultists in your area, and you are alone, run as quickly as possible. It is deemed legal under self-defense that, 
If a cultist attacks you, you may attack them, or kill them, if it is necessary. This is because cultists can be extremely dangerous, and are known to murder or torture anyone who appears alone, especially if they are running from or scared of tripods or Martians. As previously stated, the entirety of the city of Sacramento is under immediate evacuation. The state of California is under continued martial law, and so all citizens must continue to follow all instructions from military personnel. Due to this emergency, the No Man Left Behind Act, signed into law several days ago, has been temporarily disregarded. Meaning, if you see someone being attacked by an invader, a Martian, or a tripod, do not save them. It is not worth the danger it will put you in. Follow the military men across all checkpoints, and avoid getting lost. If you are a burden upon your group, you will more than likely be evicted from the convoy. <laughs> May all citizens of the United States be kept safe in these trying times. God bless. There are currently five major forms of tripod that we are currently aware of. These types include ordinary tripods, camelops, handlers, eupopods, and finally manhunters. Manhunters have only been very rarely seen, however, and therefore will not be discussed. Ordinary tripods are the most common standard form of Martian machinery. It is seen most frequently and is usually armed with all known Martian weaponry including black smoke, heat rays, and usually harvester technology. Camelops are crouched variations of tripods which have no known weaponry. Their main purpose is to utilize their tentacles and cameras in order to abduct humans from buildings and bunkers. This variation of tripod is not officially known as Camelops and has only been its well-known name due to the Camelot Avenue incident where they were first seen. They are named after the street they first abducted humans from. All humans from this street have never been found. Handlers are a variation of ordinary tripod which have cages attached to the back of their hull. These cages are intended for humans which they will then keep them until they inevitably harvest them or take them to another tripod which can harvest them. Eupopods, also known as mothers, are a form of warrior tripod which are much larger and deadly than ordinary tripods. They seem to be much more advanced and much more powerful than the likes of anything else ever seen. It is unknown how long the tripods have been dwelling beneath our feet ever since they rose from the ground, however it is likely that they were implanted into the earth millions of years ago, and the Martians were simply waiting for an intelligent, rich species to come into existence before finally invading us. They have likely planned this since before we even discovered fire. It is very likely that we will not survive this. Furby Paradox has connection.